Okay, we're back at the beach. The sun is out, it's much clearer today, which means here in Portugal, we have plenty of wind. I've rigged the 6.3 and the 80 litre board like in the previous session, but I think the wind is just gonna keep increasing today, unlike the other day. Now, I left you at the end of the other video saying, we're gonna try out this bad boy. This is the Liberty Harness. It's like a cross between a waist harness, which is what I usually wear, and a, and a seat harness. It's got this belt down the bottom end. Now, I have been talking about this kind of harness for a long time, whereas you want a low waist harness. Is this the answer? All the top boys are using it. I say all, not all, but a lot of them. It's crazy, when you go around the PWA, we've got Amado Vrishvai using one, Enrico Marotti using one, Team Nico Preen using one a lot of the Olympic riders using them. There has to be something in it. So what I'm gonna to test today, is it faster? Could be faster, or is it just more comfortable? Which one? Let's go on the water and find out. Okay, Liberty Harness. Let's test that! Woo! Actually, when it's like that, feel so good. Okay, so there we go. Just come in from a quick session. Not ideal conditions. I think it's gonna get better. There's a bit of seaweed in and the angle is difficult. So it's, it's quite holy, but interesting to get a first impression of this. My first couple of runs, wasn't quite sure about it. I was, it felt like a seat harness to me. Now a seat harness to me, people are thinking, isn't that what you want? No because I get lifted too much with my weight. I like to use my hips, but actually as the session went on, I don't know if it loosened up or moved or got a bit higher, but I felt better and it felt more comfortable. Oh, I just got used to it. I think I'm gonna have to move my harness signs. There's a few adjustments to make and I am not quite doing it right. It just doesn't feel quite right. But when I get the sweet spot, it feels really nice. So bear in mind, I'm on a small board, 80 litres, 55 wide. I think on a slalom board, it would probably be even better, especially in the lighter winds where I feel like I can get lifted up. And I think that is where it's gonna be. So maybe for these conditions, I'm not gonna see a massive benefit. Um, I actually haven't checked the watch, but nothing was feeling that quick. Um, max two seconds, yeah, 35.94, so 36 knots, which is not slow but I never really got a really sweet run. So I'm gonna go back out there, I'm gonna still test it. This is quite loose, I don't know if you can see at the bottom here, which I felt, that felt actually better. And it felt like it was staying down. I think, anyway, I don't know, it's very difficult to judge. I need to have different sessions, different equipment, and then I can give you some proper feedback. But definitely, there's sweet spots, and it's just working out how I get those sweet spots and if I have to move things. Okay. Ah. So, I mean, pretty gusty today, but a good day to use this horse because I'm getting picked up all over the place. Ah. Big holes, not easy conditions. How are we going to get to the food source at speed? That's the question. I'm just feeling really comfy as I come into it, but there's just massive holes. Ah, big holes. I think this harness will definitely come into its own on the bigger gear. The stuff when you're doing longer runs and you want to sit back and kind of cruise around. With these tight sort of spaces, I'm finding I'm getting it, 
every so often in the sweet spot. And again, this could be just because it's my first session to move the harness lines and get a bit tweaked up. It's interesting. I tried a seat harness a long time ago now, a couple of years ago, and I hated it. I really didn't like it. It was super low and I was just getting lifted out. This is not like that. This is definitely in between and there is something in it. All the top guys in the world are using it. There's got to be something in it. So there we go. That's it. I'm going to go back out. I'm going to have a little bit more of a work on it. If I come up with anything more interesting, I'll come back and let you know. But until then, see you in a bit.